Here we're going to talk just about how to set up a Facebook campaign. We're not going to go into creating the ad sets and the ad on this particular video or in breaking down the performance metrics. This is simply to show you how the um, how your ad manager or power editor works and how you're going to access or create new campaigns. All right, so what we're looking at here in the power editor, we're just looking at the simple dashboard. And what you're going to be able to see is uh, first you have your campaigns. You, what you need to know is that everything starts with a campaign. That's where it starts. So in your campaign, you're going to set your advertising objective and everything else is going to come after that. Your campaign actually contains what's called ad sets. Okay, So you can have multiple campaigns and in each campaign you can have ad sets. Now what these ad sets do is they actually create the, the, uh, the placements and the custom audiences and uh, your your demographic choices so this is not your creative element this is going to be you know figuring out what that reach is going to look like who you know who is it that you're you're trying to reach once you're once you've already figured out what your objective is you're breaking it all down so that it functions this is where you're going to choose your audience or a custom audience that type of thing okay and once you've done all that and again ad sets can contain multiple ads once you've created that, then you're going to go in and create the ads and the ads themselves are going to be where you're choosing your image and your landing page and your call to action and your button. But it all starts with a campaign and quite simply, all you have to do in your power editor is click create campaign or in your ads manager. Okay. Now, there's going to be these little notes that pop up and tell you about new things. And gosh darn, Facebook is um, at, changing and adding every day. It's constant, which is which is a nice thing because with technology, you got to be evol evolving. And you're going to go ahead and create a new campaign or use an existing campaign if you're creating a, a new ad set or a new ad. But we're just going to create a new campaign. And you're going to put your campaign name here. What is it called? So let's take an example. Let's say you're creating a campaign around um, marketing your listings okay so this is going to be the campaign that houses all of your ad sets and your ad and your ads the creative components when you have new listings so all of those ads and ad sets are going to go into this campaign possibly there's other ways to do it but let's just say you're going to do that or another example would be you're going to create a campaign around retargeting people that visited a particular page on your website or that visited your website in general or that visited a web page but did not visit this other web page right those are those are how we work retargeting and with retargeting you're going to show an ad to those people so this campaign name might be retargeting okay another example might be video you know you're going to do a campaign around video plays and your that's your marketing objective is video plays. Now, who you target comes in comes in later, but that's going to be um, in this particular case. Where let's just say we're going to run a video around what is a short sale, and we're going to talk all about what a short sale is for real estate. You know, if somebody owes more on their house than it's worth, and they need to sell it or get out of it for some reason, so we might do a video play and have a particular audience. Um, possibly our campaign objective is um, you know we want people to download our app. So we're real estate agents, we have apps, we want people to download our apps. So there are some, some, some different examples on what kind of campaigns you might run. And those you're going to choose in your marketing objectives, which I'm going to show you in another video. So your bidding type is an auction. You know, you're all, it's, it's always an auction. You're gonna, your, your price is going to be based on things that happen after your campaign. So these are going to be set up in your ad set. These are going to be based on your demographics and the geographic location, your inclusions and exclusions. Okay. And then your campaign objective. This is where we're going to choose our marketing objective. And we're going to talk about all of those on another video, but you will choose that at the campaign level. All right. And that's all there is to, to creating the campaign. Then we're going to go into creating the ad sets and the ads on another video. And also you can use the guided creation by clicking this button here and then following through and, and walking through, um, 
from this standpoint. So either way, so that's just the beginning phase. That's how you set up a Facebook campaign. Next video, we'll go into how we set up an ad set. The one other thing I wanted to mention, um, or the couple other things I wanted to mention on your, on your Facebook ad itself, here we go. This is how you turn on and off a campaign. So this is off and this is on. Now what you have to remember is if you turn a campaign off, you're turning off any ads that are running within that campaign. If you turn it on, it's not going to automatically turn on every ad if you have some of those ads off. Because if you look over here in your particular um, ad sets, you can also turn ad sets off and on. And on your individual ads, you can turn those off and on. So if you turn it off, it shuts them all off. But if you turn them on, it'll only turn on whichever ones are on over here. But remember, that's why it always starts at that campaign level. Also at the campaign level is where you're going to measure all your results. And I'm going to show you what all of these results mean in another video. My name is Lori Ballin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Check out our marketing company at ballinbrands.com.